Hey guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed a V-Bar wig once again I did one before on my channel and it was a little it wasn't giving it wasn't giving what I wanted to give um it was my first time installing one so I was I wasn't really sure how to do it this is my second one and I feel like I did a thousand times better like a thousand times better i feel like this looks more realistic than the first one since it is shorter and i did a little bit of layering to it so i feel like this one looks way better um of course i'm still having trouble with this little part because one my hair is freshly washed and it's straight so i don't have anything for the braids to really hold on to i mean for the clip to hold on to i don't have any braids either because i don't want to braid my hair so i just did a low bun but the the clips are kind of slipping but whenever i first placed them they look it looks good but then it like slowly slips but other than that, I mean, that's that's fixable if I have braids. Other than that, I think this looks like it could be my hair, honestly. What do you guys think? I did cut it. I'm going to have all the hair details down below for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Go back and watch some of my older videos. I have more videos coming for you guys. Just stay tuned, and I'm going to let you guys go ahead and get into the video. So, yeah, just keep on watching. Okay, guys, so let's get into this voiceover. Um, to start with the wig, I'm starting by slicking my hair back into a low bun. Um, it would probably be best to do some type of braids because it'll hold better, the clips will. Because I noticed after, when I was trying to install the wig, that the clips just like kept slipping. Even though I was like trying to make sure I was getting as close to my part as I could, they were still slipping. So, this is my second time installing a V-part wig. And I'm telling you, well, the first time I had braids, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you probably need braids or like at least two braids right by your part to make it look the best. So that's that. But you can do it like this. Maybe if your hair is like, maybe you tease it and put like a little hairspray to hold it. Maybe that'll work. But that's what I'm, that's what I did. I just slicked my hair back. And now I'm just trying to apply the wig the key is to get it as close to your part as possible that's gonna make it look the most realistic because if you have like this big wide part it's you're gonna be able to tell it's a wig so i'm telling you just make sure you get it as close as possible to your um part as you can so i'm just going through and playing with it it probably took me forever like probably like five minutes <laughs> to get it how i wanted it to look but um, in the end, it still kept slipping, so I couldn't really show how I wanted it to look or how it was supposed to look because, like, my hair was freshly washed too. Like, I just washed my hair before this video and straightened it. I don't know why I straightened it. I should have left it like just blow dried and just worked with it like that. But yeah, that wasn't the best idea. So now I'm just going with going in with the comb because I've been seeing in everyone's videos they're saying that you need to tease like the area where it like the lace meets the part to make it look realistic i see what they're saying but for some reason um mine just didn't tease like i was watching everybody's video and like once they teased it, it like instantly blended in mine wasn't doing that but i see that it did help a little bit um so yeah i'm just going i just did that a little bit now i'm just trying to like fix the hair a little bit trying to fluff it up and I did eventually go in and start cutting it a little bit just to try to make it look a little bit more natural. I cut the length and I cut some layers. Um, I believe that's coming up pretty soon. So yeah, now I'm just cutting some like face framing pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit of layering in the front, cut the length off. And once I cut the length off, I feel like it looked a little bit more realistic. This isn't a perfect install. Like, I really wish I could get it to look perfect. Like I saw this one video, like it looked good. Like it looked good. You couldn't even tell it was a wig. I wanna get to that point. Now, will I try another V-Bart wig? I don't know. Maybe if it gets sent to me, I'll try it again. But I think this is my last V-Bart wig because I just can't get it. 
even though I think this one looks good, like I think it looks better than my first time, it's not the best. Like you can still tell it's a little wiggy if you get up close, but like you see it's blurry right now. Can you tell the wig? I mean the part do look a little wide. But yeah, that's all I really did to it. So I'm about to start back talking for my outro. So I'm just gonna let you guys go. Cause I feel like I'm talking too much. But yeah. So this is the finished look. I feel like this time I did this wig a thousand times better. The first time I tried the V-part wig, I was not feeling it. But this one, I'm kind of feeling like from afar, it looks like super realistic. I mean, I'm having a hard time getting this to stay where I want it to because my hair is not braided. So there's like nothing for it to like hold on to because my hair is straight and it's like freshly washed. So it's like really slippery. But this one... I like this one. This one's really pretty. Um, I went ahead and cut it so that it looks like natural. Um, I probably could have did a little bit more layering, but I'm liking it like this. I'm stopping while I'm ahead because y'all might mess up, but I really do like this one. This one's really cute. I did wash it just so it would be a little bit fluffier because I feel like straight out of the box, the first one I tried was like straight out of the box and I was not feeling the curls at all really. But this one, she's cute. It looks like, it, it looks like my hair. It looks like my hair, like, but you can see it's kind of separating because my hair is so slippery. But if I had like a braid right, right here, you would not be able to tell me this is not my hair. You wouldn't be able to tell it's not my hair either. This hair is from Jolie She. I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but I'm going to have all the hair details down below for you guys. So you guys can check them out and get you a V-part wig. One of the simplest, easiest wigs to install, like no leave out, no glue, no nothing. All you need to do is clip it in. And you're good to go. You don't have to have braids either. I like I have my hair in a slick back bun. You can do that. So yes, I'm gonna have everything down below for you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys. I'm a break every box they try to put me in. I got a lot of enemies who used to be my friends. Pull me up before and I feel like myself again. Roll me up some dope and I feel like myself again.